I put a new roof on the house Monday and last Thursday I did this little architectural bump out let's call it that I'm not making a how-to video on this I don't do anything that's how-to when it comes to exterior work or structural work basically just woodworking and finish work because uh, that's kind of my area anyway if you decide to do something like this you can do what I did or maybe something a little bit better or different so what I had here was a just a one by it was a one by eight and I wanted to get a little bit more of an architectural bump out and so what I did is I went over the one by eight with another one by eight so that brings out another three quarters and then I went over the one by eight with a one by ten that I ripped down to I think eight and a quarter because a one by eight is actually seven and a quarter and you can see that it, it you know it kind of uh just sticks out a little bit beyond the brick and gives you a little bit more of that three dimension the reason why i did that is when i posted about this on instagram i had a suggestion of bringing the eve out like a full foot and i thought about that for a second but uh, i just didn't have the time to do it and I think it would have looked nice, but what it came down to is I just didn't want to take on that big of a project. So underneath the five quarter by 10 that I ripped down to eight and a quarter is a, uh, another piece of molding that I just ripped on the table saw. I think it's three eighths by uh, about an inch and three eighths. So it kind of had room to work in there. And that's just to clean up that edge there so you don't see the two one by eights sandwiched together. The wood that I used is pronounced polonia. It's a finger jointed wood, but it's used commonly for fascia boards and uh, projects like this. I get it at Monteith Lumber, it's pre-primed and that's what it's meant for, that's the use of it. The reason why I used that instead of something like Azac or Pine is uh, the Polonia I've had really good uh, experience with, and it's also very, very light, and it's easy to work with because it's so light. So, uh, I mean, I thought about using Azac, but Azac is much more expensive, and it's also a little bit heavier, and I don't really enjoy working with Azac. So the Polonia, because it's so light, it was easy for me to do all this work by myself on a ladder. I don't like being on ladders, uh, but because the runs aren't very long and because the material is so light, I was able to do this project by myself. So like I said, it's pre-primed. After attaching the, the material to the existing eave, I filled the screw holes with ready patch. That's just something I've been using for years. And uh, so like I said, it's not, a how-to video but if you got you know an area on your house that's kind of like this uh, I thought it was pretty good I, I, I was really happy with the way it turned out so the roof is done and I will be uh, posting some videos about roofing down the road uh, as far as the design we went with this roof uh, or the color that we went on the roof is weathered wood and the big design decision here and I'll, I can zoom in uh, is we went with bronze color aluminum for the gutters and downspouts. So I hope you found this video helpful. It's a little bit different. Usually we're in the barn. This is the house. And uh, like any kind of home project where you're doing something like that, it's a little stressful. So I'm taking the rest of this Friday off and I'm going to cut the lawn. That's what I like to do. All right, hope everybody has a nice weekend.